guys. So yes, my life got cut off. So I thought I'd, I'd, I'd come back here and reinforce what I was trying to say, which is, you know, when we, when we, when we claim the affirmation for the week, or any affirmation, or any positive thing, like uh, for, at the moment the affirmation is, I am surrounded by love, covered by kindness, enveloped in peace. I feel good. Now some people who are subject to the mass think will um, will doubt you, will tell you that you're dreaming, will tell you that you just live in some kind of a bubble. Can't you see the world? Can you see all the troubles in the world and this and that and the other? You're living in a bubble. And you get the choice as to whether to allow that to continue to be your story or to choose a different way of looking at the world. What you do know for certain is this. You have been looking at the world the way normal people generally tend to. Has it made you more prosperous? Now, you may have reached a certain level of prosperity. It's just like I did, you know, I became a pharmacist, all of that. And yet, there was an emptiness inside of me. There was a knowledge that I wasn't actually on the right path for me. And also, there was a knowledge that I was getting deeper and deeper into debt. <laughs> Even though on the face of it, I looked prosperous. And this was when I was indulging mass think. And when I was defying or um, when I was fighting who I was. It wasn't until I started to, to deny my senses, my physical senses, and choose to walk in faith, that life started to change for me, okay? That prosperity became my normal level of life. Prosperity in all areas, relationships, health, wealth, and also in the work that I do. I get to do work that I actually completely enjoy, okay? Um, and this can be your story too, though, because you've always felt a little bit out of place, You've always felt like you think differently from the crowd. You've always felt that like you're called to something more as well. However, it's gonna take denying yourself. That's what I call the power of denial. It's not about self-sacrifice or anything like that. It's about choosing how you, or what you indulge in, what you think, or what you indulge in thinking about. Is that, is that, is that a sentence? <laughs> what do you indulge in your mind, okay? Because if you're not denying, if you're not denying certain things, you will be allowing nonsense into your life. And I'm inviting you to a different experience of life. So again, the affirmation is, I am surrounded by love, covered in kindness, enveloped in peace. I feel good. Go and join in with Set Yourself Free. Set yourself free from the mass think, okay? Let's immerse you in a whole different way of thinking, being, and acting so that you are able to allow and receive more prosperity into your life in all areas. It is your divine right, but only if you claim it. It's at rosemarylonunite.com forward slash set yourself free, okay? The link will be somewhere around. Much love.